Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the special WFRV TV presentation of the Center Stage High School Musical Theater Showcase. Celebrating high school theater programs across Northeast Wisconsin. Tonight's presentation is brought to you by Fox Communities Credit Union. Now, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I didn't make it. But whether I'm the rose of sheer perfection or the freckle on the nose of life's complexion, the cinder in the shiny apple of its eye. I gotta fly once, I gotta try once, only can die once, right, sir? Oh, love is you see, to see, you see. I gotta have my bite, sir. Thank you for joining us for one special night. I'm Lisa Malik. And I'm Maria Van Lannen. Welcome to the fifth anniversary season of the Center Stage High School Musical Theater Program. In 2017, students from 14 schools throughout Northeast Wisconsin took to the stage for the very first Center Stage Showcase to celebrate high school theater and the power of the performing arts. Now, five years later, a record number of 24 high schools have participated in a year of virtual programming and reimagined performances, persevering to build confidence, innovation, and connections through the live performing arts. You'll be excited to know that some students who were finalists in the Center Stage Program's Jimmy Awards process appeared in the opening number at the beginning of the show. This year's virtual showcase commemorates the resiliency of participating students, schools, and their communities. Together, they safely put on performances, found ways to connect virtually or in person, and encouraged future theater professionals and leaders right here in our own backyard. Over the next hour, we're going to celebrate some of the outstanding educators and students who created amazing high school theater during this unique year. Tonight, we start off our show by highlighting the experiences these schools shared this last year. Then we have an opportunity to acknowledge the hard work and impact of program participants with the announcement of the Jimmy Award representatives. Influential theater educator, 
Inspiration through the Arts Scholarship, and Outstanding Educator Achievement Recognition. We also sprinkle in a behind-the-curtain look at the Center Stage Workshops, and we'll end the show with a very powerful musical number. Tonight's celebration shows theater is clearly a passion that connects us. Normally, we would be sharing in the event together face-to-face. -to -face. But like last year, the coronavirus pandemic has made the whole world adjust. The showcase being no different. And that is why we are staying virtual this year. Next year, we're looking forward to gathering together as a group again, celebrating high school theater in a theater. Coming up, we'll honor the many who work so hard to put on shows every season. But first, let's take a look at the innovative and creative ways students and educators have found to keep the arts alive during a pandemic. From musical reviews to Broadway classics, local high schools pulled off the near impossible adjusting to theater during a pandemic and creating a safe environment for students while still hitting a high note. Some schools from Green Bay to the Fox Valley decided to go completely virtual. Others opting to go fully in person and still some deciding on a hybrid model. Not all high schools decided to put on a musical this year. Winnebago Lutheran decided to forego singing and performed Radium Girls. On the other side of the stage, Fox Valley Lutheran went to the classic route of performing Disney's Beauty and the Beast. My heart's Showing their diverse storytelling, schools like Brilliant put on a show with a more serious tone in working. Meanwhile, schools like Hortonville took a lighthearted approach with the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee. All the world wasn't a stage for everyone this past year. Schools like Green Bay Southwest and East High Schools had some challenges after deciding to go fully virtual. Directors had to figure out how to edit their virtual shows without much experience. However, in true theater fashion, everyone knew the show must go on, and both schools overcame their own obstacles by using teamwork. Truly the name of the game this year, Nina High School created a unique safety measure for their students in Sister Act. Their solution for social distancing with full costume changes and students backstage no longer feasible, they created performance spaces for each student. Other schools use different types of personal protective equipment, from face masks to face shields to deal with the challenges of performing under social distancing guidelines. Despite each school's unique challenges, they still managed to bring productions to life. At the end of it all, students were just grateful to be center stage. Talk about unique challenges. All 24 participating schools went above and beyond to keep students safe during the pandemic while adjusting to a new normal. And it showed. The students' creativity, resilience, and determination this year have been out of this world. They've learned and tried new things while adapting to whatever their directors and schools asked of them. And the celebration doesn't stop here. We are just getting started on what will no doubt be a night to remember for everyone involved. Coming up, our celebration continues for students who wowed us this year in theater. And two Northeast Wisconsin high school students are ready to represent the state on a national stage. The Center Stage program is brought to you by Fox Communities Credit Union, Snyder Foundation, We Energies Foundation, and Nicolay National Bank. I'm Adam Lansver, and I am the Chief Lending Officer at Fox Communities Credit Union. Home values have really skyrocketed, and it would just make sense that now would be the time to take a look at your home equity. Having a home equity line in place will always be there for you in case of uh, the rainy day or you want to start up that business or, or purchase that car that you never thought was going to come for sale. To be able to have that security blanket is really critical in someone's life cycle. Fox Communities Credit Union. The Center Stage program is brought to you by Jewelers Mutual Charitable Giving Fund within the Community Foundation for the Fox Valley Region, Inc. Robert and Patricia Endress Family Foundation Limited, Angelo and Jennifer Ninavaji, and Whipfley LLP. 
Now we want to direct your attention to two local students who will be representing excellence in theater on a national stage. Several students submitted audition videos and participated in virtual auditions before two students were selected to represent the center stage program in the National High School Musical Theater program, also known as the Jimmy Awards. Local 5's digital reporter Natasha Arrow gives us an inside look at their journey to the Jimmy Awards. After a tough year, it's time to celebrate. The Fox Cities PAC is honoring students who went above and beyond in theater, whether they were on stage or in their living room. The National High School Musical Theater Awards, better known as the Jimmies, are going virtual this year. And two Northeast Wisconsin seniors will be a part of the big showcase. They will be able to participate in virtual coaching sessions with New York choreographers, directors, and be able to learn from New York theater professionals. They were chosen out of 11 schools in the surrounding areas who sent in audition videos. I've seen the people who have performed at the showcases before and I always looked at them as being really talented. It's something that was way beyond my reach of ever getting to and so actually win that competition is very, very cool. <laughs> Lauren Meyer, a senior at St. Mary Catholic High School, played the role of Reno Sweeney in her school's production of Anything Goes. Students had to choose a song sung by their character in their Jimmy Award qualifying role, and they also had to submit a dance audition. All four years that I've gotten to work with Lauren, she has had such wonderful instinct, you know, when it comes to character and making acting choices. Mickey Wirtz, a senior from Pulaski High School, will also be representing Wisconsin in the musical showcase. Seniors say that starting the school year not knowing if they would have a play, to being given the chance to represent Wisconsin on a national scale is a great feeling. It doesn't feel real. It feels like a dream. <laughs> I put every like inch of my soul into the music and the acting and I feel like it's finally paying off. I'm just really really proud um, to imagine that little old Pulaski can have someone that would have had the chance to be in New York on the stage showing off the talent and, and the hard work that they put in. It's just really exciting. And this is only the beginning. In Appleton, Natasha Aero, Local 5 Digital. Talk about a surprise. Yeah, both students were thrilled to be selected, and it showed. I know I'm looking forward to watching them in the Jimmy Awards ceremony come July. And we'd also like to recognize Pulaski High's Lindsay Sequist, who will be representing the Center Stage program as a student reporter at the Jimmy Awards. Lindsay is part of the Center Stage Student Ambassador Program and acts as a media representative, working to create opportunities for virtual theater community building ahead of the showcase. She says the program is a wonderful opportunity for students interested in pursuing theater after high school. The Center Stage program is a really great program getting you involved in theater and if students have the opportunity and their school is participating in it, they should definitely take advantage of it. The Center Stage Student Ambassador program provides an educational opportunity in marketing and the performing arts for a select group of students from participating Center Stage schools. Ambassadors join in workshops, help promote the Center Stage program and other affiliated performances, and represent the program during media opportunities. Still to come, we have plenty more to celebrate, including a look behind the scenes at what it takes to put on these amazing performances. The Center Stage program is brought to you by Fox Communities Credit Union, Snyder Foundation, We Energies Foundation, and Nicolay National Bank. needed some work done and the sedation part of it was a big thing. They take care of you so well here and there's no problems, concerns or anything. If going to the dentist is one of your greatest fears, come see us at Janssen Dental. We'll give you something to smile about. The Center Stage program is brought to you by Jewelers Mutual Charitable Giving Fund within the Community Foundation for the Fox Valley Region, Inc. Robert and Patricia Endress Family Foundation Limited, Angelo and Jennifer Ninavaji, and Whipfley LLP. The pandemic has led many organizations to adjust to a new normal, with theater being one of them. 
Thanks to the Center Stage High School Musical Theater program, students were still able to flex their creative skills and learn about many important jobs in the theater industry. The past year has been new for all of us. From theaters shutting down around the country to exploring new ways of celebrating the arts, the Center Stage High School Musical Theater program hasn't skipped a beat. Kicking off its first virtual workshop in October to bringing in Broadway professionals to teach students dance and choreography via Zoom. A left tap, right tap. Students have learned about every aspect of theater. Just nice to know that like theater is still alive, even though like we can't go see shows or anything. It's like there's still something there. If students could use one word to describe their feelings toward the center stage program this year, it would be gratitude. Students are grateful to the Fox Cities PAC for providing a sense of normalcy during the pandemic. Able to like connect virtually and be able to like dance and experience theater in some sense with other high school students is really, really cool and like really empowering. In Appleton, Natasha Aero, Local 5 Digital. I think Natasha Aero described the feeling perfectly grateful. I know I was grateful for being able to watch the high schoolers' performances this year. It really shines a spotlight on all the hard work they put into each and every performance. And high school theater would not be possible without hardworking educators, too. Up next, we celebrate an influential staff member who made an impact in performing arts education. And we honor all of the educators and directors for their innovative thinking and dedication. The Center Stage program is brought to you by Fox Communities Credit Union. Snyder Foundation, We Energies Foundation, and Nicolay National Bank. When you're on the go, make sure to stay in the know with the Local 5 News app. Scroll through the top stories of today. For breaking news alerts, send right to your mobile devices. The Local 5 News app, download it for free. The Center Stage program is brought to you by Jewelers Mutual Charitable Giving Fund within the Community Foundation for the Fox Valley Region, Inc. Robert and Patricia Endress Family Foundation Limited, Angelo and Jennifer Ninavaji, and Whipfley LLP. Innovation and commitment can be used to describe these educators perfectly. We celebrate these teachers and honor Tracy Bauer for all her hard work this season. At Michigan High School, Tracy found a way for the students to create and perform no matter what, while inspiring each student to give their very best. At Michigan High School this season, the students wrote their own show under Bauer's direction. Bauer made time to work with each person one-on-one. -on -one. She worked tirelessly to encourage and give the students a good experience while still keeping them all safe, inspiring each student to give their very best. That's why we are recognizing her tonight as an influential theater educator and want to say thank you. Tracy made sure to work with each student one-on-one -on -one and kept morale high by ensuring a few normal theater things like t-shirts for the cast and crew. And she worked tirelessly to encourage and give the students a good experience while still keeping them all safe and inspired each student to give their very best. We also want to bring attention to our other wonderful nominees, Hayden Krauss and Wendy Bixby. Their devotion to their students and to the arts ensured the show would go on and that the students had a place to belong. Inspiration is a big part of the theater program. And we celebrate two high school seniors who are looking to do just that in their future careers. That's coming up next. The Center Stage program is brought to you by Fox Communities Credit Union. Snyder Foundation, We Energies Foundation, and Nicolay National Bank. I'm Adam Lansver, and I am the Chief Lending Officer at Fox Communities Credit Union. For those that have a mortgage, it's important to review it very frequently. It's at minimum annually. Many of our members have taken the opportunity to uh, cash out some money to put in that, uh, that backyard pool that you've been seeing down the road or consolidate debt or pay off your loan faster to match your retirement. That's why we're here to help, right? We're here to help them succeed financially. 
End of story. Fox Communities Credit Union. The Center Stage program is brought to you by Jewelers Mutual Charitable Giving Fund within the Community Foundation for the Fox Valley Region, Inc. Robert and Patricia Endress Family Foundation Limited, Angelo and Jennifer Ninavaji, and Whipfley LLP. Welcome back to Local 5 Presents, the Center Stage High School Musical Theater Showcase. I'm Maria Van Lannen. And I'm Lisa Malik. This next recognition celebrates inspiration through the arts. During their time in high school, these two seniors were active in their school's theater department at a participating Center Stage school. Both are looking to inspire people around them with their future careers, using the arts as a catalyst for the Inspiration Through the Arts Scholarship. Green Bay Preble High's Emily Metcalf is one of the recipients to receive the $1,000 scholarship. Emily's love of theater began when she was 13 and watched her brother in the orchestra for a Green Bay Preble performance of Aida. Emily plays several instruments and believes in the power of music and theater to bring people together. She plans on becoming a music therapist, working with children and adults with mental and physical disabilities. Katie Stuckey from Winnebago Lutheran Academy is the second scholarship recipient. Katie was inspired to pursue stage management as a career by a center stage technical workshop during the run of the Phantom of the Opera. She loves theater because of the moments of vulnerability from the cast, crew, and audience, and how it allows everyone there to connect to one another. Stuckey's looking forward to a career in theater where she will create spaces in which people can connect. Congratulations to both ladies as we recognize them for winning the Inspiration Through the Arts Scholarships. Emily says she plans on pursuing music therapy for her future career, while Katie plans on becoming a stage manager. Both careers are connecting people through the love of the arts. We wish you two the best of luck. Coming up, it's time to honor an educator who demonstrated outstanding achievement and dedication to their students and their program. We'll see you right back here in just a bit. The Center Stage program is brought to you by Fox Communities Credit Union, Snyder Foundation, We Energies Foundation, and Nicolay National Bank. I've been afraid of dentists all my life, and I chose Dr. Jansen. It's been the best experience that I've had with a dentist. If going to the dentist is one of your greatest fears, come see us at Jansen Dental. We'll give you something to smile about. The Center Stage program is brought to you by Jewelers Mutual Charitable Giving Fund within the Community Foundation for the Fox Valley Region, Inc. Robert and Patricia Endress Family Foundation Limited, Angelo and Jennifer Ninavaji, and Whipfley LLP. Welcome back to the Center Stage Showcase, the high school musical program highlighting theater throughout Northeast Wisconsin. You know, the future of theater here in our area is really strong. The educators working with these students play a special role in their lives, nurturing, encouraging, and celebrating all of their students' accomplishments so that they can all achieve more together. Tonight, we would like to celebrate and honor Sarah Hullab, a director from Green Bay Preble High School who demonstrated outstanding dedication and achievement. Sadly, she passed away this year, leaving behind a legacy of inspiration and commitment to live theater. This next recognition honors the memory of Sarah. Sarah Hullab was a participant of the Center Stage program for all five years with Green Bay Preble High School. She was the director of musical and choral music activities at the high school for the past six years, providing consistency, stability, and a family for her students. Hullab wanted to embrace the fact that every student had their own voice, and she always wanted them to use it. Whether behind the scenes or in the spotlight, Sarah made everyone feel that they were a star. Consistent, caring, and consummate professional are all words that describe Sarah Hullab. Those attributes transferred to the stage and to the larger community that she was helping to build at Preble High School. Sarah was aware that for many of her students, theater and music were their outlets, their family, and their support system. She took that responsibility seriously, and hundreds of her students felt the impact of her focus and compassion. 
She provided consistency, stability, and family for her students and taught them about being effective performers, good teammates, and helpful humans. Whether behind the scenes or in the spotlight, Sarah made everyone feel like they were a star. Sarah was inspired by musicals and, in turn, inspired her students through musical theater. Have you gotten your musical theater fix tonight? Well, if not, don't worry. Stay tuned to see a musical number performed by students who participated in the Center Stage Program's Jimmy Awards process. That's coming up after our final break. The Center Stage Program is brought to you by Fox Communities Credit Union, Snyder Foundation, We Energies Foundation, and Nicolay National Bank. The new Local 5 News app is redesigned with you in mind. A new experience begins right on the home page, featuring local news blocks, your certified most accurate forecasts, an easy push notification subscription. There's also on-demand streaming and live video alerts. Download the Local 5 News app today. The Center Stage program is brought to you by Jewelers Mutual Charitable Giving Fund within the Community Foundation for the Fox Valley Region, Inc. Robert and Patricia Endress Family Foundation Limited, Angelo and Jennifer Ninavaji, and Whipfley LLP. Welcome back, everybody. Wow, what a night it has been. That's right, Lisa. So many talented people dedicated to high school theater in our area. It was truly amazing to see and share their work and to be able to celebrate them tonight. I can't wait to see what's coming up next year. As the night showcase is coming to a close, we want to thank everyone who has helped make this year's Center Stage High School Musical Theater program possible. We give a big thank you to David F.M. Vaughn for his artistic direction, Sean Pastel for his music direction, and Rock Garden Studio for recording and editing. The incredible opening and closing numbers are so stunning because of their help. And we want to give a large round of applause and thank the students, administrators, educators and directors, parents, community members, Fox Communities Credit Union, and all our program partners. Thank you to all of you out there who support local high school theater. Without all of you, this just wouldn't be possible. And last but not least, we want to thank all 24 schools who participated this year. Together, we were able to bring the love of theater to so many people. As we've seen tonight, no part is too small on the big stage. We thank everyone from the bottom of our hearts for everything they've done to bring the arts alive. You took the words right out of my mouth, Lisa. Before we leave you tonight, we want to share the much-anticipated musical number, Ending the Night, on a high note. One day more, another day, another destiny, this never-ending road to Calvary. These men who seem to know my crime will surely come a second time, one day more. I did not live until today. How can I live when we are parted? One day more. Tomorrow you'll be worlds away. And yet with you my world has started. One more day all on my own. Will we ever meet again? One more day with him not caring. I was born to be with you. What a life I might have. Do I stay and do I 
place with me. A special message to all our seniors graduating this year. Thank you for the role you played in sharing the magic of the performing arts with our community. I'm Maria Van Lannen. And I'm Lisa Malik. Thank you all for watching. We hope you have a great night. And we'll look forward to seeing you again next year. Thank you for tuning in to WFRV's special presentation of the Center Stage High School Musical Theater Showcase. Brought to you by Fox Communities Credit Union. Thank you for watching.